This comes from Newsbreak.com. And Newsbreak.com recently created a list. Everyone loves to create lists. Uh, but this one was the best big cities to live in. And uh, they took every city that has more than 200,000 people, and Omaha with nearly 500,000 would certainly qualify to be on the list, and they picked up their top 50. Now, where do you think Omaha came in? I'll say top five. You're you're a little too optimistic, but uh, not too too bad. Okay. Um, number fifteen. Okay. Number fifteen. So let me give you. I mean, da, 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 go to that part where. Did they mention is. our radio show? No, but I'm sure it was just an oversight. Okay, they have a really nice, uh, real nice picture of Omaha. Kind of the classic. Uh, okay, where the hell is our picture? Uh, wait a minute. Um, oh, we moved down. No, we're number fifteen, but they gave us the wrong <laughs> photograph. <laughs> what city is it? You you probably know Pittsburgh. Uh, they 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 uh, printed the Pittsburgh photograph twice. Uh oh. So apparently, um, Omaha is a place where three rivers meet, uh, right by the downtown. So everybody should write into what's the source? Uh, Newsbreak dot com. Let them know that we got shafted. Where the hell is our, you know, Gene Leahy Mall skyline shot? All right. Okay. Well, number 15 is Omaha, and it says medium home value is 151000 Well, that's what? that's old. That's uh, real old. Yeah, you can add at least 100000 or more to that. Um, let's see. It says Nebraska's largest city is anchored by the business of major companies like TD Ameritrade, now Charles Schwab, and Green Plains. The Omaha Zoo and Aquarium is world-renowned for featuring the planet's largest indoor desert. Each summer, Omaha brings thousands of tourists and baseball fans by hosting the College World Series. That's what it says about us. Um, interesting, uh, they didn't even choose the biggest companies in yeah. Omaha. But uh, So how about a few other cities? Uh, Lincoln was very close to Omaha. They came in at number 17. Wow. And... Um, it said the University of Nebraska is a major force in Lincoln, a city that for decades has been home to a large refugee community. The city hosts major events in Nebraska, such as the Cornhusker State Games and is the home to the National Museum of Roller Skating and the American Historical Society of Germans from Russia. Well, that's specialized. They didn't mention Nebraska Cornhuskers football team. No, uh, but they mentioned the Cornhusker State games, by golly. Now, um, what about some other cities? Um, let's see, any other high-ranking cities from this part of the country? Well, number 10 was Minneapolis, Minnesota. I wonder if Kansas City got on there. Yeah, they were down there, like in the 20s uh -oh. or around 30. Um, usually when it comes to those lists, we usually um, beat Kansas City handily. And we're happy to do it. Kansas City's a great town. We always enjoy having. But we have, they're fun competition, though. Yeah, we have fun. We have fun in Kansas City, but they have some issues that we don't. And um, I think they tend to kind of pop up in some of these ratings. But I'll tell you, I mean, I remember 15 years ago and, and before that, taking two to three trips a year to Kansas City to to go to P.F. Chang's to go to. Uh, to, to go to Cheesecake Factory and, and the plaza and, and shopping a, and everything. Were you a chain restaurant tourist? Yeah, pretty much. No, but but there's there's we pretty much have everything that they have. You know, we don't have IKEA, but we've got Nebraska Furniture Mart, and they got Nebraska Furniture Mart, but an FM. But um, there's not a lot of reason for Omaha unless there's a concert or there's a sporting event or something like that. Or you just want the nearest uh, decent sized city for a weekend or yeah or something like that. Yeah. Well, let me give you the top five, because everyone wants to know the top five. Okay, so number five, San Francisco, of all places, uh, despite all of the problems. Uh, wow. Well, obviously, still a lot of great things in San Francisco, so they made it. Number five. Number four, Raleigh, North Carolina. <coughs> Raleigh always ranks yeah. high on everything. Uh, number three, Irvine, California, suburb of L.A. It's a suburb, but it has 270,000 people. Yeah. It's not a small suburb. Uh, number two, another suburb, Plano, Texas, which has almost 300,000 people, like about 290,000 people, the suburb of Plano, Texas, suburb of Dallas. And number one is another suburb, Arlington, Virginia. Really? 
232,000 people in that suburb of Washington, D.C. So if you want the best places to live, you want to be in suburban D.C., suburban Dallas, or suburban L.A., or Omaha at number 15. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.